A cage of cold metal with hot rubber at the corners. A cherry. Yeah, my party just doesn't work. Fear. The difference between you and your rivals isn't just the war paint traded in battle it's more hello refuel oh okay so so you guys can hear me for some reason and uh, never mind So we're just gonna do this. Um, we're not gonna be able to probably do a party tonight, dude. This is so bad, bro. Alright, we're just gonna sit here and wait for the invites. Hopefully we get one eventually, so we can just like, get some footage at least. I'm asking for an invite to the lobby. Honestly. Yeah, what thank you, Hendrik, thank you. Alright, we're we're having major technical difficulties. We usually don't have this bad and I don't honestly know what's going on. So I'm able I'm currently using a Discord channel for this stream. So that's why you guys might not be able to hear like anyone else. I, I can use like a. Yeah, it was just really bad right now. We don't know what's going on, but I will get over to the stream. So, your current leader is the 44 of Cowboys. We have seven to go in stage number one. We have missed some action, sadly. But we are here now. Welcome in, welcome in. I don't, I don't know if anybody's going to watch. Got a big field tonight. All right, so your leaders, Cowboys, Savage, and Sturlo, top three right now. But we have Shun for Life sitting fourth with Constant pushing him. Good qualifying effort by Constant. Irish, no, that's not Irish. That's Proxy right behind him. Oh, they get tight. Hit the wall a little bit back there. You see B13. Actually, this is a seven car. My bad. Jack Boy, you see the 14. He's new to the series. I think he currently runs... Around 11th place. Yes, he just runs outside the top 10. B13 in the 7 car, but your leaders. Top 2 starting. Trying to pull away from Savage a little bit, in my opinion. They have Top 3 have actually pulled away from the pack, but Sean for Life is trying to lead them back to the pack. But racing between... Oh, look at that huge pack up there. They're stacking up. 3 wide. 3 wide back here. Proxy, Sean for Life, and Constant. Heading to the tunnel turn. I don't know if they can settle this out. They got to they got somehow single file through here. Here they go to the tunnel turn. 
Oh, Proxy slides up into Constant. Loses a ton of momentum. Stacks up the field. Here comes Lion Combe pushing the 50. Battle for third. This has such a huge pack back here. Proxy just getting knocked back, and he's losing a ton of spots. 41, now Constant. Sean for life, Lion Cone, Constant, Jack Boy, all battling back here. This is for fourth place. Look at this pack. A monstrous pack back here, around 15 cars. Insane racing back here. That's this type of track, though. I mean, it stacks up really hard in these huge packs. And while the top three, top four, have, top three have really pulled away, I mean, fourth on back to maybe 15th is stuck together. That's the nature of this track, in my opinion. You get congested. Tunnel turn, line cone hits the grass. Can Sean? Constant got a good run through there. Cannot make a move. He decides to follow Sean, pushes him. He's going to go for a move on Sean for third. To the bottom lane for Constant. For fourth, my apologies. You see the four car make a little contact with Proxy. Here we go, we're gonna get a lap check right here. They're all getting stacked up back here. Four wide, four to go in stage number one. This stage is final. Three wide still. That's just the racing back here and GS Racing has fallen all the way back to 17th. Proxy slides up. So many packs. Here comes Sean for life on the bottom lane of Constant. The four car is going to try to make it three wide. He gets a good lane entering this corner. The tunnel turn through here. Do the four car back there. I think Romeo has lagged out, sadly. Georgia Dog in the 42 tonight. Spartan, you see him right behind the 11 of Insoluble. Insoluble is subbing for DD tonight. That is someone to watch in the 11 car. Who's in the four? I'm gonna give you a seizure real quick. Three to go in stage number one. This this action back here is intense. But we're gonna have to go to the front soon. That's where the real battle is gonna start heating up. We see Cowboys and Sterlo and Savage all back there, but they're still stacking up back here. Irish is not part of that pack, surprisingly. Jack Boy got a good run on the 48 of line cone. This is the battle for, I think, a run fifth. Oh, lost into the wall, 31. He keeps it straight. Remember, there's no more cautions. He just wants to keep his car straight. You don't want to get as, get as little damage as you can, especially this late in the stage. We're going to go up to the front, though. Savage is starting to look, and Serlo is starting to pull away. Two to go in stage number one. Now we gotta see, can Cowboys make a move on Sterlo? That is the question. We're coming down to two to go in stage number one. When does Cowboys make the move if he can get there? He's gonna get the run on the backstretch. Heading to tunnel turn. I think where you make the move is maybe into one, I would say. Not the tunnel turn. This is really not a good passing opportunity. You can see him settle down. He's gonna use all other to the yellow line. He's gonna gain some time, but Savage got a great run through there. Really good run by Savage. He's gonna make a move into turn three into the bottom lane of Cowboys. Savage needs these points. Savage clears Cowboys easily off into three and four, and he takes over second. Sterlo Savage, one, two. White flag in the air for stage number one. The battle for stage number one victory. Who is going to win? Savage goes to the bottom. Entering one and two side by side for the lead. Can Savage clear Sterlo? He cannot still side by side. Savage clears him. Sterlo to the bottom lane. Savage blocks him to the apron. Does this open the door for Cowboys? Through the tunnel turn. Side by side, still does open the door for Cowboys. He's gonna get a good run here. Savage holds on to the lead to turn three for the last time in stage number one. Sterlo sends it in, makes a little contact with the bumper of Savage. Coming out of three and four, or three, my bad. Can Savage hold on? Remember, they're gonna get a run here. Savage is gonna win stage number one. Sterlo second, Cowboys third. Fourth back there, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, 
might. I gotta get an update. Oh no, my point of view won't scroll. We'll get an update on that. Sean finished fourth. So update, Sean did finish fourth in that stage. Sean got fourth. I'm guessing the 16 probably finished fifth. Fifth was going to be the 16. A proxy sixth is going to be Jackson. B13, seventh, constant, eighth. Ninth is going to be Tenacious. And Impact finished tenth. So that is your stage one results. Stage two is going to be a little bit longer. So stage two, I'll give you the rundown for stage number two. Stage two is going to be 23 laps this time. A little bit longer. So we could see fuel strategy come into play. We're going to see how that works out. Here they go. They are underway for stage number two. Green flag in there for stage number two. Should be 23 laps in stage number three. Yes, it is. 23. Now the question is, do you stay in fifth and save fuel, or do you push it? Cowboys doesn't get a good lunch on the bottom, but Sean does. He takes over third, still side by side for third. But Savage takes over the lead in stage number two early on. Sean clears Cowboys proxy, trying to clear the 14 as well. Jack Boy running top five in his first race, or second race in the series, my bad. He ran pretty solid last week as well. He takes over fourth. What a strong run through that tunnel turn. All right. Sean in third. I think this is the highest he's been all night so far. If I'm not mistaken. They're three wide already back there as we look back. Getting dicey and spicy back here. You can just see all the movement out of all these cars. Tenacious on the four car. Makes a little contact with RC Rowdy. See all the sliding up. Four, 41 and the th 44 make contact. Here comes the nation on the bottom. Three wide, two rows deep. We're going three wide, three rows deep at Pocono. Look at this. This should not be happening. They got to settle this out for the tunnel turn. Who's going to let up? Who's not? RC Rowdy has nowhere to go. Has to let up. Oh, they get loose. RC Rowdy saves it. Three wide again, heading into three. This is just so tight between these drivers. Just look how close they are to one another. The outside draft though is gonna pull them. Oh, someone down pit road! Someone wrecked into pit road! Silent Kings wrecked into pit road! That's gonna be a stage. And he made his bed. That might be a lap. Top four are pulling away from the field. They are working together in unison. They do not want to deal with that huge pack back there. Because when you get in that pack, it's go or die time, essentially. You can just see how racy these guys are back here. Side by side still. RC Rowdy, you see him in the 45, the 31 of Lost peeking his head underneath. He's going to clear the 11 and the 5 of Irish. Oh, 45 of RC Rowdy into the wall. He stacks up the 31. Here comes Irish on the bottom lane. Irish on the bottom lane. Can he get a good entrance into 1 and 2? We'll say, you just see, look from on board with T Stone. Just look ahead of him. Look at all the cars. There's really nowhere to go. And they're still so racy back here. We'll say the four car does have a great line of cars behind him. He's got fifth constant. 20 car of impact. The Cowboys proxy lined. I mean, that's a great unit, but they're not catching the leaders. But they are pulling away. Oh, six. Oh, they're around. And that's going to be a caution. 11 car gets hit. Who hit the 11? That's going to be a caution out. 10, 22 involved. The 11 car it's soluble. I think that's going to be the first caution of tonight. They might do a race back. We'll get an update on that, hopefully. They might not call it as he did not. No one else spun around. We'll see how that's called. Savage continues to lead over Sterlo and Co. He gives up the lead. 
He gives up the top lane and they're gonna clear Savage. Yep, they do. Oh, Sean very slow gets loose on the top lane. And that's gonna give Constant another position. But no, Jack, my bad. Jack, that's Jack tonight. Sorry, Constance the 41. Jack is really running well right now. Top five right now. Impressive run by him in his first, I think, full-time start. As he switched over from the NXT series. Oh, 23 down pit road, serving cone. Very early on, but he decided he needed a pit. I don't think you should go a lap down if you pit at this type of track. Ooh, loss underneath the 42. Seven car gets into the three of Dark Spartan. Three wide back here. Off of one and two. Here comes the nine car of Squid. He has nowhere to go. He's going to push B13. See Irish up ahead. Three wide. They're all congested into the tunnel turn. They go. 42 slides up. Hits the nine car into the three. Three car saves it off the wall, but 31 is gone. Four wide back there. B13 struggling a little bit with the pack back here. 31 of loss down pit road this time. We have 70 to go in stage number two. So if they pit, they are good on fuel. When they pit, they should be good on fuel. Sean is dropping. And I will say line cone, Tenacious, they've caught this lead pack. Now Sean has dropped behind Tenacious, line cone, Gets dropped out of line. He's going to have to fall back to the rear. That's going to be sixth place. Here comes Tenacious on the bottom of Jack Boy. He's going to make a move into the tunnel turn. Sean right behind him. Sterlo T lead. Savage second. I'm going to guess that these two are going to work together all night, if I'm not mistaken. They're teammates. They're leading 1-2 right now. And they want to keep it up. I mean, they're having a great run for themselves right now. Tenacious, the Jack Boy. Also, House is really running well, aka Suspect Motorsports. They're really running well with two cars inside the top five and another car running inside the top ten just outside this lead pack. So, great night for Insolable's team. As, as soon as I say that, the four car moves the 14 of Jack. And that's going to move in a line. He's going to fall behind the 50 car of Sean. I got a question. Does Fifth Constant have the draft of the leaders? He's got to get the draft of the 44 very soon, or he's going to lose it. Line Cone, Jack, side by side here. Still side by side between these guys. Line Cone now going to try to pull up again beside those guys in front. Nilla MG in the sixth car tonight. Romeo has lagged out. And I give you an update. I think the one car has lagged out as well. So not a great night for those guys who've lagged out. If I'm not mistaken, I'll get an update on that. Yeah, Silent Kings has lagged out. 47 to T-Stone down pit road, by the way. That is someone's pick tonight. I will say, Mets did pick him as his dark horse tonight. I'll go over points since I would presume no one heard the audio then. I'll go over points for tonight's Premier Series race. Mets picked Sean for life. He currently runs in third. His dark horse was Tucson, like I said. Camo picked Cowboys tonight. That is his pick for the bracket. And his dark horse was Sterlo. My main pick tonight was Sterlo. My dark horse, though, was Sean for life as I picked him for the bracket. Now, Kendrick's pick was Cowboys for the bracket. And his underdog or dark horse was Irish. So those were your picks after tonight's during the podcast. If you guys did watch that, it was great. Go watch it on Suspect Camo's channel. That'd be appreciated. We worked very hard on that as well. Here we go. Tenacious is getting help from Line Cone. He's going to try to clear Sean here. Tenacious is clear of Sean. Does he fall back in line or does he have Line Cone through the tunnel turn? Sean backs up, falls to fifth. The two Toyotas, though. Oh, Savage into the wall. Does that give him damage? Here comes Tenacious with a huge run. They let up a little bit. Okay, they let him get back in line. But that's going to stack up Sean and Co. behind him. Jack Boy and company.
Top five are your regulars with a few outliers and some new guys into the fray. Someone said that we should drink our commentators. Well, tonight's than I am, and we're all three individually commentating due to Xbox issues. And I will say Tenacious is pushing that 18 really hard into one and turn to the tunnel turn. God dang, man. He's pushing the tunnel turn. I'm going to shut up for a second. The four car was pushing the 18 through the tunnel turn, but he got there through there cleanly, by the way. And the 14 of Jack Boy, something happened with him. He probably hit the wall as Constant gets around him, and they're starting to lose the draft of Sean for life. Those two need to get set up and together. They need to get. It. Someone's on pit road. Who is that? 44 of Cowboys down pit road. That is Cowboys. Oh, somebody in the road! Oh my god! He flew out of the stadium! Oh my god! We just saw a murder! Oh my god, we just saw a murder! Um. Um. We just saw a murder! Spartan down pit road. Um. I have no words. Look at this battle for the lead. Sean and Sterlo. Caution is out for the first time tonight in state of number two. All right, so Sterlo holds, Savage holds on to the lead. Sterlo said second. I think it was Line Cone who got third, and Sean for life in fourth. But remember, some people just pitted. I will say that Cowboys just pitted. Does he stay out and take the advantage of that and take over the lead? We'll see the strategy here during this caution break. All right, so they just come down pit road. Sean F Savage falls the second, entering pit road. My bad, he crossed the line in second. Impact and Georgia Dog stay out. Impact stays out. I don't know if Georgia Dog is on the lead lap. Yes, he is. All right, so interesting strap by those two. Cowboys does come back down pit road, if I'm not mistaken. But Georgia Dog staying out and Impact staying out is going to be an interesting strap. We're going to see how that works out for them during the uh, half of the stage. All right, all right, all right. Who is going to win the race off pit road? Savage beats Sterlo out. Interesting swap up. That's good for Savage. And I will say, Tenacious lost quite a bit of spots while his Irish did a pit strategy. Look at that pit strategy working out for Irish up front. So Irish gains two to three spots. Clutch for him, hopefully can hold on to that as we have a lot of pit strategy, varying strategies during the end of stage number one. Impact stayed out. We have about nine to go when they go green. So Sterlo Savage start in the second row. We're gonna see how that works out for them. I wanna see how 
How good are those tires? Did they just pit or on the older tires? That's going to be the thing I'm going to have interesting. How well are they going to get off, especially with Georgia Dog and Impact? I think they just pitted, so that's why they stayed out. They did do choose cone on the back stretch. So as you saw here, Georgia is going to lead us to green. 42 leads us to green. Let's see how good he gets a restart here. Sub driver, Georgia Dog. We all know and love him. All right, here we go. Here we go into the guy car restart zone. Georgia leads us to green. Let's get it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And they are underway again. Decent jump by Impact. Actually a great jump by him. Still side by side here. Irish gives Sterlo a bump. And they're heading to one and two, still side by side. Georgia trying to clear Impact. Side by side earning one and two. Will the older tires sacrifice or be a sacrifice for the 20 and the 42? Here comes Sterling with a good run through one and two. He has nowhere to go. He's going to follow and push the 42 of Jordan Dog out front. Is he going to make a move into the tunnel turn? That's the real question here into the tunnel turn. Gets a good. Oh, someone around in the back. That's the 14 of Jack. I don't think he hits anybody else. And that's a solo car incident. They keep it straight back there. Jordan Dog still leads over Sterlo. Out of three, he's going to lead the first lap of the restart. Is he, though? Here comes Sterlo side drafting him. He does. Eight to go in stage number two. Three wide for the lead. Here comes Savage to the bottom lane. Jordan Dog lets up. Here comes Irish on a pitch strategy as well. He did two tires on the stop. Savage and Sterling side by side for the lead. Savage and Sterlo, two dominant cars tonight, side by side still. Irish and Jordan Dog are still there. Savage enters very low. He clears Sterlo into the tunnel turn, hits the wall nearly. No, keeps it straight. Good run to the tunnel turn. Amazing, perfect tunnel turn by Savage. There's seven to go when they cross the line. I just sounded no. I did not mean that was a great ton of turn by him, but can Strello regain it on the far stretch? Remember, the draft is really heavy here. Who is going to take over the lead? Who's going to win stage number two? We're under six to go now. Seven to go, my bad. Good run by Sean. He's going to make a move. Strello looks to block. Will Strello get set three wide? He gets pushed up. That's going to help Strello. That's going to help Savage. Savage gets a good gap but because of that block. Jordan Dog gets loose. He keeps it straight. T-Stone into the wall back here. Not good for him. But Sean is now up to third. He got around the older tires. Sterlo's not getting through the tunnel turn as well as he would like, I would think. Still three wide back there. You can see them all shuffling back there. But Sean is like, I want to steal the stage and I got to finish out ahead of Cowboys. Sean looking to take over the points lead over Cowboys, who currently is your points leader. He needs a good, he needs to win another stage if he wants to do that. But teammate, oh, what the hell? Um, Sterlo around. Sterlo's dead. That's a wreck from the leader. Huge lag. Everyone's dying. Whole pack involved. 62 Proto serving Sterlo Savage. Your leaders, manly the leaders are out. That's a huge wreck between them because of presumably lag. Something huge happened there. Shakes up the field. And this gives the lead to the 18 of Savage. Yes, yeah, Savage leads over Impact, who sits second. Here comes Sean for life on the bottom lane. Going to try to side draft him to the line. Caution is out. Five to go. Caution was called before they hit the five to go marker, so we will go green with two to go, or three to go.
Okay, so that was presumably a lag kick. So Savage drops back to the rear. You see the 18 he's dropping. No, he just parked it and braked. Okay, so he was unghosting himself. But we're going to go green with about three to go. But that knocks Sterlo all the way back in the rear. Who else got knocked back there? Sterlo? Presumably one of the most dominant cars of the night. So far, 14 of Constant or Jack Boy is back there now. Constant's at say down pit road. He might have lagged out. Yeah, Constant may have lagged out. So sadly for him, his night is over. Romy did start but did lag out. So he will get points and start, but he will not be able to earn any more points as he wanted tonight. All right. Who does the save? Really, the 42, in my opinion. He had a really bad restart. But luckily, this helps him out if everyone decides to pit. Now, how many cars do I expect to pit? I don't expect any of the leaders to pit here. If you're a guy like Impact, you want to win the regular season championship. You need these stage points. We'll see how many come down pit road. Yeah, Jordan Dog. Tenacious. Someone may have hit the pit wall. Not even going to lie to you, a lot of cars stay out. This is their decision. Like I said, if you want stage points, stay out. It may cost you at the beginning of stage number three, but again, everyone else is going to pit again as well. So really, in my opinion, it won't cost you at all. It's worth not pitting here. They're going to do shoes cone on the back stretch. We're going to see how well those fresh tires work at the beginning of this, at the end of stage number three. As we're only going to go green with about four to go. Let's see how aggressive these drivers are as well. So Georgia, I'm surprised by Georgia's decision. Because I felt like his tires were already old. But I understand somewhat. Risk it for the biscuit. You're already in old tires, but you're able to get stage points for your team and your subbing. The caution light here. You see the caution light right there? That's the choose cone. No, that is not. Okay. We got to get the caution light. I think this is the one. Yeah. Yeah, that is. The... No, it's not. Remember, I have not gone over the brief debrief during the pre-race, so. Should be on out of turn three and four. Out of three. Out of two. Should be right here. There we go. See the line right there? That is the choose cone. But Georgia decides to choose the bottom or the top lane, whereas Tenacious decides to go front row beside the 50 car of Sean for Life, who's been one of the dominant cars tonight. Irish starts on the third row outside lane. I think he's one of the freshest tires in the field. Currently, Dark Spartan pitted as well. We're going to see how the older tires run on this restart. We're only going to go green with about three to go. Here we go in the start of stage number two restart. This is to the dash to the finish. No more cautions is out. This stage is final. Here we go into the Geico restart zone. Shun for lights leads us back to green. Good jump. Tenacious jumped it. He had to back it up. And Shun for life and Jordan try to clear. Tenacious heading to one and two. Sean gets a beautiful jump there. Jordan's not able to clear the four car. Still side by side between second and third. Tenacious wants to clear. Jordan Dog as, clear, as cleanly as possible and as early as possible as he does not want the 50 car to pull away. Three to go at Pocono in stage number two. Now, how good of a tunnel turn does Tenacious get? We're going to look back. How good of a run does those other fresher tire cars get through that mid-pack section? They're all stacked up behind the slower cars on fresher tires. Top three have pulled away a little bit. Coming to two to go, Sean for life, trying to take over the points lead. He leads at the end of stage number two, two to go at the flying. He's trying to break the draft. You can see him all the way going down to the apron. Under the white checkered flag, you can just see how low he's going. He's really trying to break that draft there. Two to go, coming to white flag next time by. Oh, Tenacious hit the apron, here comes Georgia. Sean just breaking the draft and Tenacious is making too many mistakes. Here comes George on the top lane. Line Cone has breaking free of the of the huge pack back there as well. Solid tunnel turn by the four. He gained a little bit on Sean. 
But is it gonna be enough? Come on a white flag. Out of three for the last time. Second to last time in stage number two. Looking back for Sean. I don't know if anyone's gonna get there. White flag for stage number two. Who is gonna win stage number two? You can just see how much their lines are dividing and that's gonna cost Sean a little bit of time. Here comes Tenacious entering one and two. He gets up to the rear bumper. How good of a one and two does Tenacious get? Can he gain the momentum on the back stretch? He's gonna have the draft. But Sean decides to peel it off. Tenacious runs his normal line. He gains a little bit of time. He's gonna get the draft entering the corner. Who's gonna win stage number two? Solid tunnel turn by Sean. Good tunnel turn by Sean. Coming to three for the last time in stage number two. Tenacious got a run. This is Sean's to lose. Tenacious is gonna try to build the momentum. He got a run. He's got a run. And Sean is gonna win stage number two at Pocono. Tenacious finishes second. Jordan finishes third and you see them wrecking behind. RC Rowdy involved, a lot of different cars involved. Your top 10 for stage number one, stage number two is gonna be. God. Sean for life, T Tenacious, Jordan Dog, Line Cone fourth, Irish finishes fifth, Proxy finishes sixth, seven is gonna be lost. Nella finishes eighth, good stage finish for him as well. Sterla finishes ninth, and Dark Spartan gets 10th in stage number two. Stage number three is gonna be a bit, a little bit longer, by the way. We had a caution in every stage, so far two cautions tonight. 24, 24 laps in stage number three. Now with these cautions, I think we're gonna have a caution that's gonna eliminate the fuel strategy. Iron Man and Servant Cone stay out. Iron Man and Servant Cone stay out. Surprising move by those two drivers. We're gonna see how that works out for those two as they fall in line behind one another. Tenacious falls back to the third, side by side between him and Sean. Tenacious gets underneath, serving three wide for second. Sean has to back it up. Here comes Jordan Dog with a good run. Using the draft of Tenacious, he's gonna push that Tenacious, the four car to second place. Iron Man leads over the 23 for the first time tonight. Congrats to Iron Man on having a baby a few weeks ago. I don't think I've said that enough. Servant Cone sits in third. And back there you can see all the drivers just dueling side by side. Now, I have a prediction based on what I've seen. Tenacious seems like the strongest car right now. He's got a good run on the eight car. He's gonna push the Iron Man. That's a surprising move, but it's smart. Look at all that noise. <laughs> Sounds beautiful. Here comes the four car underneath. Iron Man got a good run through one and two, side by side for the lead. Serving is gonna help the four. Does he make it three wide? He pushes the four to the ton of turn for the first. Side by side to the ton of turn, can Tenacious clear? The eight car he does, up to the lead for the second time. I think the second time tonight is Tenacious. The four car is looking strong as ever. He takes the lead, Servant Cone falls the second. And the issue now is Jordan Dog is currently your highest runner on fresher tires than everyone else. But the four car pitted and he's on fresh tires. Now Jordan Dog's gotta get around the eight and the 23 of serving. But they are there, they're pushing up. The four car, here comes serving coming to the bottom lane. So serving gets loose. Here comes Jordan Dog sending it three wide. Three wide for second, line co gets loose, four wide. Four wide between Sean into the tunnel turn they go. Proxy gets set up the track, serving cone drops back. And Jordan Dog is now up to second. Jordan Dog trying to shock the world like he did at Talladega last season in the premiere. Can Sean clear the eight car? He cannot. Iron Man fights back. 
You can see them now going under the apron for draft. 21 to go in the race. Yeah, Door Dog got a good car tonight. Sean Files is in right behind Iron Man, so he decides to be patient. Proxy now up to fifth, having a great run for himself. Sterlo is trying to recover from his earlier incident. He's now inside the top ten, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he sits behind Irish. 62 of Proto in the wall. Here comes RC Rowdy in the bottom, being pushed by Nick H. Battle between around 23rd or 21st. Savage having an earlier incident, struggle to get through the field as well. Same with Sterlo. It's hard to pass here, but it's easier. It's hard to pass, but at the same time, it's e it's so, I don't know what it's called. They pack up a lot. When you start to battle, you lose a ton of time. You can't really get past people. It's like, I don't know what to say. The field stacks up, and finally, Sean for Life gets around the eight car. He finally gets around Iron Man. And Proxy's trying to try to get around Iron Man as well. So Iron Man's going to lose a few spots to those guys. Severin Cone's going to try to capitalize on that he cannot. So Sean's up to third. Right behind him's going to be Proxy. He also has a quick car tonight. Spartan having a solid night inside the top 15 right now. And we start, we're starting to see Iron Man starting to drop back on those older tires. You can just see how far they're going down. Look at those two drivers all the way down to the apron. Look how far they're peeling back for the draft. And they're losing a ton of time to Proxy and Sean, who currently sit third and fourth. As you see, the three wide. Three wide. They're super tight. They slide up. Still in the middle of it. Three car of Spartan gets hit into the wall. Still three wide. I don't know how they made that work out of one. Into a tire turn they go. Sterlo takes over seventh place. He's moving his way through the field, trying to get around all these cars. And the biggest loser, Iron Man. He lost a ton of spots out of that. Probably hit the wall a little bit. Battle for the lead. Tenacious is now being challenged by Jordan Dog. 18 to go in stage number three. Sean and Co. Line Cone and Sterlo trying to hunt down the leaders. Fifth and sixth place currently. We know Sterlo's got a great car, but can he catch up to the leaders? Sterling and Cone in the mix of that as well. Here comes Jordan Dog. He's going to push the four car. He's trying to keep himself away from Sean and the 16. Really running well tonight. Second place. 23 of serving into the wall. A car of Ironman down pit road this time. Three wide between serving Sterlo and Irish. Irish to the bottom lane of Sterlo now. With Ironman pitting early, we're going to see how that works out for him. Side by side for the lead. Here comes Jordan Dog trying to take over the lead over the four car of Tenacious. And he clears him. Jordan Dog to the lead for the first time tonight. Jordan Dog takes over the lead, but this brings in Sean and Proxy. Dan it. Dan it. They're there. This is going to be a four way battle for the lead. And potentially the win tonight as we're rolling down to our first last pit stops of the night. We see a car come down pit road. You see him. Car just dove down pit road. 16 to go now. When do the leaders come down pit road? That is the question I have. Does anybody fifth on back decide to come down early as well? 16 to go in the race. Top four have pretty much checked out a little bit. Not fully though. They're now together, they're packed up. 
Yeah, Sean and the 16 of Prox are now officially there. It's a four-way battle for the lead. Tenacious starting to get a little loose, and Sean for life, and Prox are battling for third. Iron Man, remember, he pitted early. We're going to see how that strategy works out for him. He has GS Racing and Lost with him as well. I want to see how that works out for those two drivers. They are good on fuel, if I'm not mistaken. Sean up to third. Jordan gets loose. He gets passed side by side for the lead. Jordan's probably going to fall back to third now. As now Sean and Proxy got a good run on his outside, but he has the preferred lane through the tunnel turn. And Tenacious able to pull on those three. They get three wide. Jordan Dog falls to fourth. After leading a few laps, he falls to fourth now. And now falls in line. Here comes Line Cone and Sterlo. They are hawking this group down now. They're trying to get themselves involved in the fight. Servant Cone also in that mix. As his car hasn't died down like I thought it would on older tires. He's actually been able to keep up because of the draft. Yeah, no, Lion Cone. We see back there Dingleberry in the 99. He and Irish are also trying to catch up to Sterlo and Co. So Dingleberry returns this week, having a great run for himself in the 99. You see that car back there. Fifth and six have pulled away from the pack, but now they're trying to hunt down Jordan Dog. If they can get the Jordan Dog's draft, that is their goal here, as I would think. If they get to his draft, they think they're in good company. Here comes Sean in the bottom of Tenacious, side by side for the lead. They slides up a little bit, makes a little corner with Tenacious. Here comes Proxy to the bottom. Proxy's to pit road. One of your leaders down pit road. Proxy pits earlier than everyone else. Here comes another person. I think that was Cowboys down pit road as well. The real question I have. Is anybody trying to fuel save this stage like a madman? Oh, and Jordan Dog's starting to get really loose. You can see that 42 just starting to die down. Now here comes Line Cone. With Proxy pitting early, does this bring the leaders down pit road this time? Proxy pitted super early compared to these leaders. I will say... I have no sight of Cowboys currently. I don't know where Cowboys is. Now, Sean is leading the race. I don't know where Cowboys is, so. And here they come, Servant Cone. He gets it slowed up. He gets a world up impact, Servant Cone. Spartan and RC Rowdy down pit road this time. Jack Boy, Savage, and Squid together. Cowboys, I think, has pitted. Yes, he pitted before. He already pitted. So, Cowboys pitted early, trying to jump the two leaders, the 43. That same with Proxy. He tried to jump them. Tenacious down to fourth. Jordan down to fifth. And your leader, though, is Sean Line Sturlo. Some of the hottest drivers in the league as of last few weeks. Three winners this season as well. So we could have a back-to-back -back winner. Here comes Tenacious, down pit road. Another guy joins him. I think that was the 14. He brings down the 99 of Dingleberry and the five car of Irish. So that brings down three people here. So oh, 78 gets in contact with the 19. Sterlo gets held up. And that might be costly for him. A lap car that 78. Payton gets in the way a little bit. Don't know if Sterlo's going to like that. That probably just costed him his chance at the victory. Line Cone and Sean slowed up massively there as they got very tight on the exit. Line is pushing Sean for life as much as he can. Four to go for fuel on my inboard on board. 
I'll get a lap count for you guys to see Proto coming up here. Road 10 to go at Pocono. Who is going to win tonight? Who is not? Do we see a first time winner? Or do we see a return winner to Victory Lane? Line, Sterlo, and Sean for Life have all won this season. I'm actually going to get Sean's fuel. I want to see it. I think they do have to come down pit road. Top two have pulled a little bit from Sterla as he's been in the incident with the 78. Here comes Sterla down pit road. He pits this time by. Sterlo and Jordan Dog pit together. So two of the leaders pit together. Hopefully they can work together and catch the top two. Line Cone and Sean, though, are hooked up right now. I would presume these two are going to take two tires here. I would think that would be the strat here at Pocono. Two to go on fuel. So, yes, Sean is going to come down pit road, presumably this time with Line. You choose your partners, and he chose Line Cone. Hopefully they come down and pit together. Pit strategy is varying. We're going to see how this works out for the top two and some other drivers. Here they come. Line Cone and Sean down this time. They get it, Wode. Good pin entry by the leaders. All right, back to Sturlo. He's on the back stretch, entering the tall turn. Proxy got around him, guys. Pit strategy by Proxy is going to work out. He got around Sterlo, but the issue is Sterlo's got a little bit of fresher tires. Yes, the leaders are taking two. All right. Coming out of three down the back stretch. Leaders are out of pit road. Sean and co. are coming out. Down the back stretch, you see them. They're inning one and two. Are they gonna get there early enough? Sterlo's not. Proxy's not. And that's gonna be the race. Yeah, Sean got a good jump. Line cone. Can Proxy and Sterlo catch the leaders now? But Sean got an insane gap on line cone entering. Great entry by him. He gained like three seconds on pro line there. A big gap now. Two car links, basically. And I think this race is set up for Sean to win. Unless something drastic happens. Or he makes a mistake. Unless a, unless a lap car affects the race. We'll say they are starting to pack up here. Irish, the 99 of Dingleberry, still dueling back here. Four car has also lost a ton of time. I don't know why. Lost, gets into the wall, 14! Jack Boy goes around! Sorry, comes around, and that's gonna be a caution! Sorry! That's gonna be a caution. A lot of cars involved, and that's gonna be a Caution is out at the line. It's unword. Six to go. Caution at the line. That is big for Sir and Proxy's chances. Yep, back it down. Caution is out with five to go. Oh my god, that shakes up the whole field. Oh no. All right, everyone's going to get them down pit road. And who this 
shakes up everything. We're about to see a green white checkered. This is going to be insane. This is going to be nuts. All right, everyone down pit road. Now, does this impact the finish? This opens the door for a lot of things to happen. Bar taking two tires. Two, three people almost beat out Sean. Savage and Tenacious take two. We'll state, Savage did have a top five car. Tenacious has a great car on it as well. So don't count out those two, but they are in the hole. Sean for life. He had this win in the bag after, but then a caution came out, a huge wreck on the back stretch. And now it's gonna be all determined to this last restart. By the way, guys, uh, like Camo said in his stream, we will not be doing interviews tonight due to party issues. So. Hopefully we get those fixed. I am currently in a VC on Discord. Yo. I am currently in a VC on Discord, so that's why you guys can hear me. That's the only reason you guys can hear me. They did choose Cone. No one chose the outside lane besides Sturlo. He jumps up to the second outside. That might be the racing move. I want to see if these guys stack up. Does Sturlo go around on the outside lane? Clear them all and win this race. We'll see. Heading to the Geico restart zone. Savage is going to lead us to green. No, it's Tenacious. My bad. Tenacious leading us back to green. Savage does not get a good jump. RC Rowdy also starts top five here. Trying to get a good run for himself. Heading to one and two. Can Sean get underneath Tenacious? He cannot. Tenacious holds on. He's going to hold up Sean. Savage slides up. Sean to second. He's going to be able to try to clear it the four. He goes under to the bottom lane. Here comes Proxy. What a good run. Proxy got a great run out of one and two. He's going to go to the bottom. To the tunnel turn they go. Tenacious blocks. Four to go from Pocono. Sean trying to clear the 16. Sterlo trying to help him out. Sean clears the 16 of Proxy. Tenacious still holds. He holds up Sean. Here comes Sterlo on the top. He's going to push him. Still side by side. Tenacious still leads with three to go. Tenacious blocks all the way down to the apron. He blocks all the way down to the apron. Sean and Tenacious side by side. Proxy cannot get there. Sean gonna clear him potentially off of one and two. Side by side drafting. Line cone makes it three wide. Proxy's gonna try to clear them. Can Proxy clear line? He cannot side by side for second as Sean takes over the lead. And this may be his race to lose. Three to go. Line cone still side drafting that car. And I would say if these guys continue to battle, this race is over. Proxy sends it in too deep. Line clone's going to clear him. Looking on back. 
Line cone, two to go. They're starting to get loose back there. Into the wall goes. Was that Savage or Strollo? I think that was Savage. Hit the wall hard back there. Yes, he lost a ton of time. Sean leads us with two to go out of one and two. Good run through there. Line Cone got a good run as well. He's not going to try to follow him as much. But can he get there? Late enough, someone's around. Huge wreck in the back. I don't know who that was, but he is dead. We're down the back stretch to turn three. I'm going to white flag next time by. Sean is checking his mirrors. Cowboys is now up to third. Sean is trying to earn his money and earn a second win of the season. Cowboys needs to gain the position. White flag in the air at Pocono. Sterlo getting a little loose back there. Sean still holds on to the lead. He's trying to break the draft. Cowboys sends it in. He's up to second. 1-2 for the tournament bracket winners. Sean coming out of one, he's good. Cowboys side by side with line. Sterlo goes to the bottom, send it three wide. I would say, unless Sean messes up the tunnel turn, coming to the tunnel turn for the last time. Gets a good corner. Great corner by Sean, entering three for the last time tonight. Coming into three. He gets a good corner, coming out of three. Sean for life. Down the back stretch for the front stretch for the final time. Line cone into the wall. Sean for life is going to win the race and he's going to win the money. Cowboys finishes second. Sterling the third. Proxy finishes fourth. Iron Man finishes fifth. B13 finishes sixth. Jordog finishes seventh. Tenacious finishes eighth. Serving finishes ninth. And Impact rounds out your top ten. Congrats to Sean for life for winning the race and winning that money. What a finish. They dueled too hard for it, and guess what? Sean for life is your bracket winner. Congrats to him. He wins the money. Sean for life picks up his second win of the season. Cowboys finishes second, and he officially earns some money. Congrats to Sean. Ooh, man. Fastest lap goes to Serving Cone. Congrats to you, buddy, for getting the fastest lap. Solid racing overall. All right, we're going to back out there. Iron Man got a top five. That's surprising and a good finish for him as well. Congrats to him on the top five. Yep, no. Sorry, guys. My uh, party is not working. All right. So due to us not being having interviews, I will recap it again. So Sean officially wins the tournament. So congrats to him. He wins some money. So congrats to him. I wanna. I forgot how much we get for the tournament.
it was what we expected of basically it was going to be in my opinion Pocono in my it's just it's a big track there's going to be a few mistakes but overall I mean It's what Pocono is. Solid race overall by the guys. We had some big ones. Some people died. But overall, solid race. And of course, congrats to... Solid race by the boys. It's Pocono. Some mistakes happened. We had some deaths. But overall, solid race by the guys. Sean for life again. Officially wins the tournament. And he gets his second win of the season. Beating Cowboys, who finished second. So Cowboys was right there. Yep, it was that tight. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, we get a recap. Hopefully, we get a recap of the race. Overall, race in a night. First two stages were really dominant. The first stage, in my opinion, was dominated by the Toyotas. Savage and Sterla were really good in stage number one. And instant knocked those two out of the bracket. And after that, they really struggled to get through the field. So, overall, great night by them. Just tough luck for, I think, Savage, who died at the end. So, sadly, he was not able to get the finish he wanted. So, either way, congrats to anyone. Uh, congrats to Sean. Sterlo got a top three, I think. Top five. And besides that, I'm going to end it out here. Congrats to Sean again for winning the bracket and the race tonight. He's the first back-to-back -back winner. This is the second win of the season as well. See you guys next week. Hopefully we get these technical difficulties out of the way. And hopefully Hendrick. If you guys want to watch interviews, hopefully Hendrick can get it working. Go over to uh, go over to regular, go shot, regular show 48. So he's going to try to get that worked up. And we'll see you guys later.